Hi guys, how are we doing? Sorry, I'm been kind of uh, absent from my weekly analysis. I have a lot going on. I I got more busy. I just thought oh, it's not too late for the setups I've been waiting for for the week. We just missed a day, so I even think this is more perfect timing for me to give you the setups because I think they are just for me. So let me get straight to the reason why I'm pulling this off. I try as best as possible to explain what I am doing. It won't be that easy for us new people that do not know how to trade uh, with structure to get. But if you have basic knowledge in Forex before, I think you can still know what all this is all about. But I have all these explanations of how this thing works in my course, my playlist that I give my students when they come to me. I have a lot of people on my neck recently, so. But that doesn't mean I can't take more. My aim is to get as many as I can, many profitable, independent, profitable traders out there to see what I see in the market and make money on their own whenever they want. There is no time. You can trade whenever you want. So basically, this is what I see, guys. Uh, I can see an high here that was broken, although this was it. But then I have a divergence forming right here. And this has bounced three times. So I could still predict this is going to go up, considering the fact that my JPY is also diverging and is actually at another block right now and is giving some kind of weak rejection. So giving me a sign of oh, maybe JPY is going to be weak. So if JPY is going to be weak, so we can look for buys on GJ and EJ then. So that's why I will be waiting for this. You can see I, I wrote POI. So I am going to wait for the market to come into this range and see what happens. So even if it rejects, I'm not going to touch this until this trend line breaks and retests. Are we together, guys? Until this trend line breaks and retests. So that is when I am actually going to do anything. So when this happens, you can look for something like this. If it comes just here, your stop loss is going to be a very tight one. I think this is like 49 pips and we can try and target this trend line here. And I think it should be good to go. But then, patience, guys. We have to wait and see what happens when it comes here. So that's what I have on GJ. EJ, same thing. I have a trend line. I'm waiting for the break and retest off. I have my areas here as well. So once it comes here, no matter where it turns back, I'm not really bothered about it. What I'm bothered about is the break of this trend line and the retest, then I get him to carry it all the way up here. So uh, I'm looking to buy EJ as well because, like I said, GPY is going to fall. So we um, can look for something like this. That's what I'm thinking. But then because GPY is reversing already, it might decide to turn out the way right here because there's a support here too. So but let's see what happens, guys. Like I said, I'm not bothered about wherever it's actually turning for the buy. I'm only bothered about this trend line break and retest. So that's what I have on GJ and EJ. USD on DXY, what I have on DXY is also divergence. But I'm still looking for this to sell more because it's yet to hit the TP. So I'm looking for something like DXY retesting this soon this resistance zone, right, is actually diverging, but I don't think it's ready to break yet. And if it breaks and retests, good. That means I'm going to sell GUEU. But what I'm actually expecting is a touch of this trend line that come to the TP here. So if it does that, and that's because this support is already broken. 
So all we can hope for is for this to come here and you know shoot down. I think this is going to create some kind of a trap for some people here, thinking it's going to break and you know start selling GUEU, and it's still going to shoot down some more. So you have, you want to be careful with it. So like I said, I'm waiting for that. So that means GU can you know somehow play a little bit down as well. Once it hits this trend line. You can look forward to the eat, you know, going all the way up. I am predicting something like this red can do here for you to come and touch it, then come into this. That's a good two to seven ratio. If not, it can come all the way down here to touch this before moving there. But well, no matter what, I'm looking for the reaction that happens when it touches those trend lines. EU, same thing. Is still going to buy some more, like I said. So you can look for this as well to come all the way here to like you know retest this broken support and come here, or it can just turn all the way here as move there. Ultimately, I am not actually going to join in on the buy. I don't think I will, and that's because it's much more easier for me, right? So actually wait for it to come here, then break and retest, then take the sell. Trading is all about patience, guys. You don't always have to be in all trades. Recently, I've just been calm and, you know, patiently waiting. I think I've come to realize the more patient you are and the lesser trade you take, the more profitable you'll be in trading. You don't necessarily need to take all setup because one thing I've realized is whatever setup you think you are seeing, you are not the only one seeing it, guys. You are not the only one. And some setups are perfect traps. It will be so perfect and it's a trap for them to get your money and you know reverse the trade on you. So you should be grateful for the little ones you take and they go your way, right? So the lesser trade you take, the more patience you are, the more profitable you'll be in the market. Uh, so um, like I said, I might not join in the, the buy because it has almost moved. Assuming you know, the trade was still here when I am. Got in, I might have, you know, still be holding for it to hit my TP. But then I'll wait for it to hit TP1, then see what's going to happen. See what's going to happen. If it breaks and retest, then I will join in for the sell. If not, it's going to keep going up. I don't care. So on NAS, I have divergence on NAS as well, guys. But NAS has not hit his own TP as well. So for NAS, I'm still going to. It's still going to go up, guys. So what I'm predicting on us is a buy. It's going to touch this trend line. The moment it touches this trend line, a little bit stop loss here, and it's going to come all the way to this TP1. Yeah, we can expect it to at least come to the TP1. So there is still buzz, but more buys on NAS, and that's what I have. And lastly, guys, GBP card. We have a news on card by 1.30 today, I guess, 1.30 p.m. Uh, uh, GMT plus one. I don't know what time it is on your own calendar, but that is 1.30 in my own country's time. So I'm predicting card might be strong because this has been diverging for quite some time. So what I'm waiting for, you know, the drill, a real break with real impulse. And the retest. Actually, this is this is going to be the first break before the real major break. So for some, if it breaks well and retests, you can carry load the way here first, then wait for to see what's going to happen in this and the retest to see what's where it's going to lead us down. All right. So we can see we have a broken support that is yet to be a broken resistance that is yet to be retested ever since. So all we can expect is for this to come down. But believe me, guys, if it doesn't break, do not touch. Because as you can see, like I said, this is yet to hit TP1 as well. Yes. So the news can come out, it can break this and retest come here just to retest uh, these, uh, this zero percent, you know, just all the way down here. Then news come out, cut 
may be weak, then GBP can carry it all the way to TP1. So it's all about being patient. See what the market is showing you. Follow the market. The market will give you a hint. Just follow it. And always make sure you calculate your risk management. Make sure you calculate how much you are risking on that trade. Do not over leverage. Do not risk much more than you can get. So these are the free ideas I have for you for the week, guys. I hope you're good. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about my trading style, about trading generally. I can help you guys. I can help you. Just feel free to reach out to me. I am building a community of traders. I want to have a group where so many ideas are going to be dropped by each person. I want to see what you are seeing in the market as well. I want developed traders in my team. So feel free to reach out to me, guys, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for sticking to the channel. Thanks so much for your patience. Thanks for your, so much for your reviews. I am very grateful. I'm not taking it for granted. And I'll see you guys next week.